receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. A Bible lesson in eight points. One. Yahweh had promised the Holy Spirit from ancient times. I will give you a new heart, and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh, and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. 2. John the Baptist announced that the time was near. I baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I is coming, the strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. 3. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit to his believers. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive, for as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. 4. Jews receive the Holy Spirit by faith in Jesus. Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 5. Gentiles receive the Holy Spirit by faith in Jesus. The believers who had come with Peter were amazed, because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even on the Gentiles. For they were hearing them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. 6. All may receive this same gift that is God's Holy Spirit. For in one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one Spirit. <laughs> 7. By this Holy Spirit, we experience the love that God has for us. Since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts, through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. 8. This Holy Spirit is God's guarantee that you are saved. When you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in Jesus Christ, you were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee of our inheritance, until we acquire possession of it, to the praise of his glory. The Holy Spirit in you, moves in several ways. He renews your personality, fruit of the Spirit. He enables you to serve others, gifts of the Spirit. He helps you to pray effectively, intercession of the Spirit. He grants you wisdom as needed, revelation of the Spirit. He magnifies the Lord Jesus Christ in all things, worship in the Spirit.